Hey everyone, today's video is about when you punch during an argument. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Let's get going. Bakugo Katsuki. Bakugo knew all about your past. You had first told him after about three or four weeks of dating. Now, it's been six months, so you trust him with everything you have. You told him because you were scared of him rejecting you after he knew you. After he knew that he has to be very responsible and has to take care of everything he's saying. He knew you were very hard to handle, and you also couldn't stand the heartbreak after the relationship. So if you actually dated, and you were happy for a few months or something, and then he broke up with you, you would be heartbroken. I think you'd never be able to actually date after that. Ever. So he had to be very careful with you. And you had to choose very carefully. You had to know if he was the right person or not. So you dated for about a month. Getting to know each other and you telling him about all the secrets that you were scared he would not accept. But he fully accepted you. And then you started to label this as a relationship. Now though, after six months of dating, and actually being in a relationship, you started getting anxious again. Katsuki completely forgot about the whole thing. Or not forgot, he just... He was very comfortable with you. And he really didn't care at all. For now, he didn't focus. So he started talking to you loudly. Like, as if he forgot about the whole thing. Which you know he didn't. But still. Now you are scared. Was he going to be like him? Was he going to hit you too? Was he going to yell at you if you didn't do this or that? You were always worrying about this. And you were scared. Right now, you and Bakugo are having an argument. The whole conversation point was about what you both would be when you get older. Bakugo had said that he wanted to be a hero, and you said the same. But he kept trying to talk you out of it, to tell you that you're better off not working and staying at home. But then you refused. And well, it got here. Katsuki, I want to work, okay? You cannot say otherwise. I can say whatever I want, okay? I have rules whenever it comes to a relationship. You dated me, you follow my rules. Other than that, then you shouldn't have dated me at all. Well, if you told me about these crappy rules of yours, I wouldn't have dated you. Oh, really? You're serious now? I'm dead serious. I see. And well, the yells got from here. He continued to yell at each other until... He slammed the table with his hands. What I say is what you should do. And then he noticed how you flinched when he slammed it like that. You were scared and it hurt him. He shouldn't have done that. He should have remembered what exactly you have told him before. He shouldn't have even argued with you. He should have just talked normally and told you. Or maybe... Because of what he did now, he would have to accept you working. Because, well, you did join UA to become a hero, so he was not going to stop your dream. Now that he was thinking about it, he was being immature. And, well, he just wanted to slap himself. Lion. Lion, I'm really sorry. I, I didn't want... To yell at you, okay? He came close to you, then held your hands. I apologize, love. What do you want me to do for you? I just want you to accept the fact that I want to be in your way. And that I'm going to become a hero. <sighs> Fine. I did date you when you were in your way. And your dream was... 
to be a hero. So, I'm not going to stop you. I'm sorry for what I said. I forgive you then. But you must know, if you ever try to stop my dream, I'm sorry, but I know that I'll leave you. Okay? Right. It will still be my fault anyway. So, do you forgive me? I guess I do. But cook me a meal. He smiled a little. Okay, I'll do that. If it will make you happy. It will. Then I'll be fast to do it then. And he ran into the kitchen, making you giggle to yourself. Patrick, you're so dull. Patrick, you never meant to get mad. But you always knew. If he had a conversation with Endivore, he will immediately get mad. Yes, he knew about your past. And he never even raised his voice at you before. He never even raised his voice. But especially at you. But then when he got mad, you could see how he wanted to avoid everyone. And you were scared for him. So you went to the training rounds to see him boxing. And, well, it should have been normal. But when you saw his face, you could see just how angry he was. And he was also boxing without gloves on. Tadraki, please stop. You're going to hurt yourself like this. Tadraki, listen to me. Tadraki, and before you could even finish the sentence, he yelled at you. Wyan, could you stop? I just want to be alone, can you not? Understand that. And that was when you froze. Those exact sentences. You have heard them before. Oh. Flashbacks just came back. The things you wish to forget, and were beginning to, came all back together. You just wanted to cry. You just wanted to forget. Why can't you do that? Why did... Why did he promise you something that he couldn't make? Hey, why on? Why on? And you couldn't listen to him. You couldn't hear him. All you could focus on was that guy's voice. Why on? I'm sorry. Okay? I didn't mean to yell at you. It's alright. I... I was wrong. No, you're not wrong. Okay? I'm really sorry. Can you just give me a hug? Yeah, I can do that. And he hugged you to calm you down. For the rest of the night, he spent it with you and tried to make you feel better, cuddling with you, etc. I'm really sorry. He whispered into your hair after you fell asleep. Thank you guys for listening. I hope you liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Goodbye.